do have some friends in the Missouri legislature. <laughs> friends that will stand with you and stand up for women even when others won't. <laughs> You know, study after study, the evidence makes it clear that the key to political development, to ending inequality, to ending poverty, to economic growth, it's simple. It's the empowerment of women. The empowerment of women to attain good education, the empowerment of women to be paid with their worth, and have gender pay equity. The empowerment of women to be free from violence and sexual assault. The empowerment of women to make their own health care decisions. The empowerment of women to have access to family planning. So that they can the, homes. the empowerment of women is as true and tested in rural Indian villages as it is in modern American cities. And the empowerment of women must be a priority and a reality here at the University of Missouri. Whether it's basic admitting privileges for physicians, or educational opportunities for students, the university must respond to the needs of women, not the convenience of political pressure. We all know about this current battle, but I also want to warn everyone here about the next battle. Researchers at this university. Uh, okay. Right? Yeah! Researchers at this university are doing groundbreaking, internationally recognized stem cell research on the world's most common pregnancy complication for first time mothers preeclampsia. Yes. This research has the potential to benefit the health of millions of women and save thousands of lives. Yes. <laughs> Extremists in Jefferson City have already announced that ending this pro-women, life-saving research is their ne next target. And we must make sure make sure the University of Missouri does not cave to political pressure again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this community has an opportunity to be a leader. We have an opportunity to be a leader in empowering women, a leader in conducting life-saving stem cell research, a leader in providing women's health care. This community must not cave to political pressure from extreme special interests but instead rise to meet the challenge of empowering women through education, research, and health care. Yeah. Meeting these challenges is going to require work from all of us. We need you to use your voice, we need you to use your talents, and we need you to use your energy. I am proud to stand with you. Thank you all very much for being here.